Now, another root, my line, when you look at it, is one one inch apart from each other, one one inch. Root total and vertical is one one inch. So, after getting my one one inch to straight lines, that's what you just you are seeing here. I'm also using my ruler to also see this indicated see the point one one inch gap so i'll use my ruler to now connect the points together this way i'll move it this way again you can see the point see the point there see another point here to see it here at this point and see another point here so i'll also connect the three points this is what I'll be doing to it. Then when I'm done ruling it, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you can see I'm done ruling, connecting all the lines. Each box is one, one inch. There's something I forget to explain. When you look at this place, you see that is the space is there is more. So I'm not starting, I'm starting from this box. This is for allowance. Here also is for allowance. Here also is for allowance. So I'm just working on this box inside. So the next thing now is to draft our pattern inside this box. By the time I'm done drafting the pattern, I will also show you. Okay, this is the design that I'm going to transfer to this fabric. It's called the arrow design. So you can see it at connect the first column here. I connected this way, this way. Then I'll jump two lines. I'll connect again. I'll jump two lines. I'll connect. I'll jump two lines. I'll connect. That's what I did to the end of that first column. So this first second column, I I didn't start at the first two lines. I started at the down one. I connected it this way. I jumped two lines. I connected. I jumped two lines. I connected. So that's what I'm going to do on the fabrics now. I've already started it. Like I told you, this is allowance. I've connected this way. I've jumped two lines. Connected. I've jumped two lines. Connect. I've two lines. Yeah, and I didn't start on these two lines. I'm starting. So that's what I will do until I finish everything about it. By the time I'm done doing it, I will show you. Okay, as you can see, I am marking my pattern. Is this way? I'll go to the next column. Do it. I will leave two columns. I'll go to another column. I'll go to the next one. I'll leave two columns. I did it till here. So the next one being this line, like I said, two columns. I started the second line. Then the top goes up. Second, another one I'll come down. Another one I'll go up. Another one I'll come down. That's the way I did it till I now finish. Now I'm done doing it. It's like V. So the next thing I do now is to stitch it to do the smoking. So when we are going, when we are starting the smoking, I will show you how to smoke this pattern. Uh, but you, you need to get a needle and matching thread when you are doing this type of thing. Okay, now we are going to start the smoking now. What you need is your needle matching thread. So now, I'm starting from here. Watch is like V, or I can call it a triangle that is facing up instead of facing down. So it has two legs. This is the two legs, and I know this is my right one. This is the left. So I'm going to start from this my right. I'll pick it small this way. Then I will come here that it meet together. I will also go here. So I'll come to this point also and pick small. 
this way I will return back to where I started and pick it a little again this way you see what I got so now I'm going to drag through the thread have you seen me? and I will self guide my smoke by knotting it tight very so that it will not get loose like me I'm tying up four times you know how to do yours so the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it I can see I've got this way to the second. You open it and get the same. Also, pick it the same way I did at this one. And come to this place and pick it to this side. I also pick it here. And I'll also return back to where I started from. And I'll pull it this way. Ah. Now, so I'll tie it again to self guide it so that it will not get. So, this is how I'll be doing it till we get. You see it, you see the arrow is forming. I see it. So, here's what I'll be doing till I finish smoking all these things. Okay, guys, this is the outcome of our arrow. See, the, this is the back and the this is the front for our arrow design you can see the points the shape of arrow mount i see you can see it this is how it comes out you can give it a try out. if this video has been helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and help me by subscribing to my youtube channel like and share my channel to others thank you